Yeah, yeah. Bend her over and slap the booty. Stand back, see how the teeny shake. I can't wait to penetrate. Even if you get straight, I still ejaculate. She know Louis Vuitton, she know Prada. But the head is dumb like she know nada. Write me up and all it. Whoa, bars. The song alone, c'est la magie. Hey lovely people, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe because you are definitely going to love it here. Alright, so you guys remember a few days ago when Jovi came out on Twitter and said he has a song with Whiskey. Come on, you're making fun of him like, which Whiskey? I beg good day. You have a song with Whiskey. That means I get a song with Michael Jackson now. People were like, me I get a song with Whitney Houston now. So they were making fun of him that if you, Jovi, has a song with you with um Whiskey, that means me I have a song with Prince, me I have a song with Manu Dibango. Everybody was just making fun of him and they thought he was joking. So he actually came out here to defend himself by saying, people are doubting if I have a song with Whiskey. Yes, I do. I produced it. I am thinking of previewing it through a short live session. The Mboko Gang just has to pick the time and place in the comment section. Let's make it happen. Thanks. So you guys know it's unlike Jovi to come out here defending himself. People always drag him all the time. People insult him all the time. But he has developed a thick skin. He doesn't do the fighting the Boko gang usually answers for him but this particular one you can tell it really went under his skin when he came out here saying he has a song with um, Whiskey people were blasting him, insulting him Jovi, classic Jovi will never reply but it really pained him for him to come out and defend himself tweet after tweet as if it was not enough he went on Facebook live to like prove to you guys that he was actually speaking the truth so who lost now, who shame now now who now, now haters you guys are the one who are ashamed now because he has really brought the evidence, he has really like defended himself, he wasn't lying so you guys are the ones that owe him an apology right now so Jovi continued by saying I will not release the song I will just preview it on the internet during the live session the song is almost eight years old the beat is nine years old I might play a couple of new songs too who knows Bokogang pick a time and place on the internet all right so Bokogang did as instructed they picked a date and place it was on Facebook and on this Facebook live Jovi is defending himself by playing the song that he actually has with um, Whiskey and it's such a beautiful song I don't know why he just won't release it it's such a beautiful song and I think it's going to hit hundreds of thousands of views in just a matter of days jovi uh, go ahead and release this song oh. so what you guys are about to watch now is a facebook live video in which jovi tells it all jovi came out here talking about the song which he has with whiskey he told us that the song is actually eight years old you know for the doubting pharmacists for those who thought he was lying he came out here to prove to them that he wasn't lying and here is the evidence during this live video he also plays the song you know so everybody can listen and then he also talks about the song having a version with Rennie's. He also talks about the same song having a version with Sean Paul. So it's a lot going on. You guys should listen to that. And during the live session, he also plays some of his um new songs that he hasn't shown to the world yet. So you guys will have an opportunity to listen to a Jovi exclusive. So um, I'm going to stop talking now so you guys can enjoy the video. Stay tuned. First, I'll do a small introduction. All right. Um, what is happening? Okay, I'll do a small introduction. The song uh, was, was a song that I had, I had done the beat before, right? So when I did the beat, uh, at that time I was talking with Convict. And um, that's about the time uh, Tima reached out to me and he wanted us to work. Uh, shout out to Tima. Um, he used to be running shop at Convict at the time. He used to be head of A&R there. And... Um, Tima wanted a song that was like a fusion. At the time, he was working with Sean Paul. It wasn't even, Whiskey wasn't even in the picture at the time. So he was working with Sean Paul. And there's actually a version of uh, that song with Sean Paul on it. Yeah, but that you have to go and ask Tima. I'm not playing that. So, um, yeah, Sean Paul hopped on the song. And then Whiskey heard the beat too later, and he hopped on the song. And then, um, uh, yeah, I later on did the song with uh, Renice. And uh, by the time all the other versions, versions were coming back, I had already uh, dropped the video uh, with Renice. So, yeah, so it's actually a song that Renice has used the beat. That's how you know it's actually me who produced the song because, uh, yeah, Rainey's hopped on the beat first. And, uh, yeah, so the version for Whiskey, 
It was supposed to be Wizkid featuring me. It was the other way around. The way the song was set up, it was supposed to be Wizkid featuring me. But I was going to be the producer of the song. So, yeah, I'm playing the first version, which is uh, Holy Water Rainy's version. Yeah, so everybody in the Boko Gang definitely knows this song. I'm not going to talk about the song. The song never figured on any um, project, never featured on any... Um, I said figure, that's like French translation. Ça n'a pas figuré. So the song never featured on um, any uh, project by Renice, whether it's EP or album. Yeah, so it was just a song that was there. There was like, like I said, a lot of people hopped on the beat. At one point, I was even confused, you know, so. Um, but yeah, but Renice ended up being the one that, I mean, obviously, is my artist. So she obviously was the one that ended up with the song, you know. I mean, she really liked the song too. And that's the most important part. So right now, I'm going to play the version Whiskey did and that I was supposed to feature on. And that was supposed to be like a song where we we're going to announce some collaboration uh, 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 and maybe my subsequent signing with uh, 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 Tima at the time because Tima wanted to sign me uh, 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 to his uh, label and, you know, in partnership with, with Convict. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah guys sorry for the lyrics they are kind of raunchy i think back then uh, like you know when i sent the first uh, uh when i sent the first recording of the song everybody was like oh it's damn it's raw you know but that was how i was rapping at the time you know you know just going for shock value and stuff but yeah um for those who are worried if i can release a song yeah i can release it i mean i produced the song so it's not that's not where the problem is the problem with the song is that the song rainies had already done her version and you know i i consider that the version with whiskey after was already because the version you have to understand that the version with whiskey came after Rainis and I were already shooting the video uh, with, uh, with Bertrand. We were already shooting the video and we were prepping to release the video. And then the version of Whiskey came after. So even though I hopped on it, I think the song, uh, um, the song had become Rainy's song. And then the second thing is that I never released it after because I felt like, you know, this was like a different moment. You know, this was a different moment completely. And... If we had to drop the song, we had to drop the song at that moment when the beat was still hard. Nobody had released a version of it before and, you know, everything was intact. And then the second thing also was that, you know, at the time, I was very wary about how I get introduced, you know, to the world. Personally, if, um, if I have a song like Umem, for example, and I have any big Afrobeat artist singing on that song, like Umem, I drop that song any day. Or I have a Jang beat like positioning or stuff, and I have a, a Niger artist or a Ghanaian artist or SA artist, South African artist uh, 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 on the song. Yeah, I drop it anytime. But if I have a song like this, that's like pop, dance hall, you know. You could clearly see that 
I produce the song, but you could also notice that it's not really, it's not really our style. It's really pop. It's just popular music. At that time, this was the type of sound that was hot. You had synthesizers. That was around 2009, 2008. So you had a lot of pop synthesizers uh, uh, that people were putting in songs at the time, you know. And there were also a lot of producers in Nigeria that were doing that. Uh, rest in peace to Dr. Fraps. Uh, uh, Don Jazzy also was doing that type of sound. He used to have sounds that had this, you know, uh, sharp scenes in it. And, you know, I mean, basically everybody was uh, Beluga Heights to uh, 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 J.R. Rotem. They were like the pioneers. They were like ahead of everybody in that sound. And the artists that they helped break through with that sound was Jason, uh, Jason Derulo and Sean Kingston, especially Sean Kingston, because it was more dance hall with a pop synth type of sound, which is what, you know, was really happening in Florida at the time. And T-Pain 2, T-Pain 2 was on that sound and a bunch of people from Florida uh, 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 were, were on that sound heavy. And the sound spread throughout the world. Everybody was using that sound. So yeah, I mean, like I always do, if a sound is new, when I say new, I mean like a week old. I'm not going to do a song. I'm not going to do a sound that is uh, months old and I'm proud. I usually make sure that my sound... If a style is like one week old, I try my hand at it. I make sure I know how to do it. And then now I try to see if I can flip it to, to make it to sound how I want. Like maybe bring African instruments into it or Cameroonian music, Cameroonian influences. Until the style actually belongs to me. When the style belongs to me, like when I hear it and I'm like, where the people that do this thing, they can't do this one. Or this one is the first version of it. That's when I'll leave the style and then I'll go to something else. And if you notice, I don't repeat styles. Okay. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to play. I'm just going to tease a song. And then, you know, uh, we'll call it a night. So, I can go and work. Thanks for everybody who joined. And, baby me. I can see you. Okay. Sorry. I had to do that. Um, yeah. I'm going to just play a new song that you guys have never heard before in your entire life. And then, yeah, it'll probably be on a, this project that's coming. And then when I've played that one, now, hasta mañana, like my baby would say, hasta mañana. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's go. Chana, yeah, 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 yeah. hey, your place is for kind of me, kind of men, kind of me, I cut the ball, I cut the ball. Now you understand why he is our Mboko God. Now you understand why we love him. I mean, this guy has been consistent year after year. I started listening to Jofi when most of you do not even know about him. Like, it was most at that time, he just came out with one of his first songs and we were vibing it all day, every day. So, most of my Jofi songs I love are instead the old ones because those are the ones that we were listening to all the time when we were in the University of Boya. So, I love Jofi so much and I'm happy of the progress he keeps making day after day. I mean, he's one of the guys who will never let us down. And any new song from Jovi, be sure when you listen to it, there's definitely gonna be bars upon bars. He never disappoints. So thank you guys so much for watching. I remain your girl Nana. If it is your first time on this channel, don't go without subscribing because you are definitely gonna love it here. Stay safe, everyone. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. She wanna stick, lick a sucky with no teeth. She gon' swallow like a freak. Let my balls inside you. Got info at her digits. If she pull up, I won't fidget. Buckle back, it's been a minute. I'll busy. Page.